రామానుజదయాపాత్రం జ్ఞానవైరాగ్య భూషణం శ్రీమద్వేంకటనాథార్యం వందే వేదాంతదేశికం లక్ష్మీనాథ సమారంభాం నాథ యామున మధ్యమాం అస్మదాచార్యపర్యంతాం వందే గురుపరంపరాం యోనిత్యమచ్యుత పదాంబుజయుగ్మరుగ్మ వ్యామోహతస్థితరాణి తృణాయమేనే అస్మద్గురోర్భగవతోస్ దయైక సింధో రామానుజస్ చరణౌ శరణం ప్రపద్యే మాతా పితా యువతయస్తనయా విభూతి సర్వం యదేవ నియమేన మదన్వయాం ఆద్యస్య నహ కులపతేర్వకులాభిరామం శ్రీమత్తదంగ్రియుగళం ప్రణమామి మూర్ధనా భూతం సరశ్చ మహదాహ్వయ భట్టనాథ శ్రీభక్తిసార కులశేఖర యోగివాహాన్ భక్తాంగ్రిరేణు పరకాల యతీంద్రమిశ్రాన్ శ్రీమత్పరాంకుశ ముని ప్రణతోస్మి నిత్యం నారాయణం నమస్కృత్య నరంచైవ నరోత్తమం దేవీం సరస్వతీం వ్యాసం తో జయం ఉదీరయేత్ వ్యాసం వశిష్ఠనప్తారం శక్తే పౌత్రం అకల్మశం పరాశరాత్మజం వందే శుకతాతం తపో నిధిం వ్యాసాయ విష్ణురూపాయ వ్యాసరూపాయ విష్ణవే నమో వై బ్రహ్మనిధయే వాసిష్ఠాయ నమో నమ నిగమకల్పతరోర్గలితం ఫలం శుకముఖాదమృతద్రవ సంయుతం పిబత భాగవత రసమాలయం ముహురహో రసికా భువి భావుకా అచతుర్వదనోర్బ్రహ్మాద్విబాహురపరోహరి అఫాలోచనశంభుర్భగవాన్బాదరాయణ సాంద్రానందవబోధాత్మకమనుపమిదం కాళదేశవదిభ్యాముక్తం నిత్యముక్త నిగమశతసహస్రేణ నిర్భాస్యమానం అస్పష్టం దృష్టమాత్రే పునః ఉరుపురుషార్థాత్మకం బ్రహ్మతత్వం తత్వత్ భాతి సాక్షాత్ గురుపవనపురే హంతభాగ్యం జనాన అగ్రే పశ్యామి తేజో నిబిడతర కళ యావళి లోభనీయం పీయూష ప్లవితోహం తదను తదుతరే దివ్యకైశోరవేషం తారుణ్యారంభరమ్యం పరమసుఖరసాస్వద రోమాంచితాంగై అవీతం నారదాద్యై విలసదుపనిషత్ సుందరీ మండలైశ్చ బాహుద్వందే నరత్నోజ్వలవలయభృత షోణపాణి ప్రవాళైనోపత వేణునీ ప్రసృతనఖమయూకాంగులీం సంగశరా వక్త్రవిందే సుమధుర వికసరాగం ఉద్భవ్యమానై శబ్దబ్రహ్మామృతై త్వం శిశిరిత భువనై సించ సించ మే కర్ణవీధి యోగీంద్రాణాంతంగేష్వధికసుమధురం ముక్తి భాజం నివాసో భక్తమవర్షద్యుతరుకి సలయం నాథ తే పాదమూలం నిత్యం చిత్తస్థితం మే పవనపురపతే కృష్ణ కారుణ్య సింధో కృష్ణ కారుణ్య సింధో కృత్వ నిశేషతాపాన్ ప్రతిశతు పరమానంద సందోహ లక్ష్మీ 
ಅಜ್ಞಾತ್ವಾತೆ ಮಹತ್ವ ಯದಿಹ ನಿಗದಿತ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಕ್ಷಮೇತ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಚೈತತ್ ಸಹಸ್ರೋತ್ತರಧಿಕತರ ತ್ವತ್ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಭೂಯ ದ್ವೇಧಾ ನಾರಾಯಣೀಯ ಶ್ರುತಿಶು ಚನುಷ ಸ್ತುತ್ಯತ ವರ್ಣನೆನ ಸ್ಫೀತ ಲೀಲಾವತಾರೈರಿದಮಿಸುರು ಆಯುರಾರೋಗ್ಯ ಸೌಖ್ಯ ಆಯುರಾರೋಗ್ಯ ಸೌಖ್ಯ ಜನಕೀಕಾಂತ ಸ್ಮರಣ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಜೀವನ ಸ್ಮರಣ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಅಬಾಂಡಂಟ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ಚುನೆಟ್ and honored to be speaking for a series of 7 days a saptaham on one of the most revered well known and well researched scripture in sanatana dharma which is shrimad bhagavata mahapurana beginning today supposedly a week day you have made it strong with your presence so this shall go on till the sunday saturday and sunday alone we won't be following the evening timings i'm sure all of you are abreast with the timings mentioned in the poster so we shall be culminating this series with uh, rukmini kalyanam there is a paddhati uh, of shrimad bhagavata saptaham interestingly of the various regions in bharata desham that has uh, promoted shrimad bhagavata mahapuranam kerala as a state has a special honor of having many 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 bhagavata satram satram is a yagam so it is believed that listening itself is akin to be to performing a yaga it's called a shravana yagna so if somebody asks you at the end of this series what did you do you can confidently say that you have performed a yagna yagna doesn't have to just be with fuel and ghee and bricks your ears turn into the vedika the shlokas that you listen become the havis the gyanam that arises at the end of it becomes the purnahuti and the phalam so shravana yagyam is what this is referred to as and this set of 7 days generally is accompanied with parayanam 2 where there is recitation of all the 12 cantos skandams of shrimad bhagavatam but given uh the work commitments that you all have the organizers have we have only the upanyasam now the pravachanam now and uh, how many of you speak tamil i'm not uh, I'm talking about yeah how many of you speak telugu how many of you speak kannada malayalam okay now i have to go beyond the boundary marathi gujarati hindi okay i'm not talking about how many of you can speak hindi how many of you's mother tongue is hindi namo urle praveshika panna vallam kai thukiruva so now we have so many languages now which is the link language we have bequeathed uh two acharyas in our parampara one is renna acharya and the second is martin acharya so we carry the tradition of shri ren and shri martin so english is the link language given the beauty of the language and given the deficiency that i may possess in the language there are certain places occasions where i may have to literally think in my mother tongue and then translate in english it wouldn't make any sense for a person who is born english those statements so they may deem it redundant however redundant it could be christened i would still love to keep those sentences as is 
So with such disclaimers around, Srimad Bhagavatam has a paddhati of beginning with a portion called Mahatmyam. What is the, uh, uh, the importance associated with doing a satram such as this? So I am going to um, do a bit of akramam here. Kramam is procedure. Akramam is going slightly beyond the procedure. But that's used in a very different context today. So if someone is horrendous, someone is very atrocious in their uh, habits and somebody's demeanor that causes some big damage to the society is called Akramam today. So I'm not going to that construed meaning. Akramam here means I'm not following the procedure. No Kramam. We need to connect Shri Mahabharatam and Bhagavatam. Shri Mahabharatam is an itihasam because it was written during the times of Pandavas. It was written during that period. Whereas Bhagavatam comes slightly later. How slightly later? Not very later, just slightly later. For this, uh, I need to talk about two places connected with history, archaeology and then go back to Bhagavatam. Today, if you go check which is the world's largest Hindu temple, you may stumble upon two names. One is Sri Rangam, a temple for Sri Ranganatha Swami in the hamlet, in the island, in the fresh waters of Kaveri near Trishiragiri or Trichirapalli. This is largely believed to be the world's largest functioning Hindu temple. The non-functioning Hindu temple is Angkor Wat. Built in the 13th century during the Khmer dynasty by Suryavarman II. But the inscriptions of that temple state, the name given to the temple was Parama Vishnu Loka. This is the name given in the inscription to the temple. It's called Parama Vishnu Loka. And uh, that temple, the central part of the temple is an Ashtanga Vimana. Those of you who are abreast with such terms from architecture would know that the central part of the temple will have three tires. So you have the Mula Murti in the ground floor, in the first and in the second, but in different postures. One is standing, one is reclining, one is sitting. So this three leveled temple, tired temple of the central portion is called Ashtanga Vimana. And this was constructed in the 13th century. Now, considering that this temple is for Vishnu, it's an Ashtanga Vimana, we need to understand who the Vishnu is. He is an Ashtabhuja. He has got eight hands. Of course, with Buddhism that kind of flourished later after Khmer dynasty, uh, the strong Buddha devotees chopped the head of Vishnu, placed a Thai massage Buddha's head there. But essentially it is a Vishnu temple with eight hands. So we have Ashtabhuja and Ashtanga Vimana. So where did Surya Varman the two get the inspiration from? He got the inspiration from a temple in Kanchi Puram. So I told you I'll talk about two temples. So one is Kanchi Puram. And the second is a place that forms a part of the golden triangle of the Chalukyan architecture in the north part of Karnataka called Aihole. So this Aihole temple of Durga was around the 6th century during the king, reign of a king called Pulakeshan. Why these two temples are very important? Because all of you noting down, I'll ask you questions. So, this Aihole has an inscription of the king where the king states, After so many years of the Mahabharata war, is this happening? So, from that we get a proper inscriptional evidence when the Mahabharata war took place, which is 3102 BCE. Roughly 300-400 years before the Indus Valley civilization. So this is when Mahabharata war 
took place and that year is when the inscription states Kali Yuga began. That is why if you look at the Panchangam, it will tell 5000 plus years of Kali Yugam because we calculate from the 3102 BC. So that temple inscription is very important to get the dating of Mahabharata Yuddham. One temple. Second, I told, spoke about Kanchi. Kanchi Puram, uh, two things compete with each other. Number of silk sari shops and the number of temples. So if at all you manage your you're extremely blessed to visit the temples. You should be visiting a temple which comes under the purview of the Archaeological Survey of India. It was constructed around the 7th and the first half of the 8th century. It is called Parameshwara Vinnagaram. This temple finds a mention in Tirumangayalvar's works. Now you may be wondering, Sir, if you give information like this, how will we, what will, how will we remember? You should write down. Always you should carry a book, pen, hand, everything with you. There is a difference between listening to a Nama Sankirtanam, a Karnatic Kacheri and an Upanyasam. So you should always note it down. But if you believe, trust your memory extremely well, please don't write. I am sure you will be able to remember. Now this Tirumangayalvar sang 10 plus verses on this temple and he mentions about the king who constructed the temple. This temple is very unique. You have to visit this temple. Today it is called Vaikuntha Perumal Temple. Alvar calls it Parameshwara Vinnagaram. If you go to this temple and do a Pradakshinam around the Sannadhi, on the walls you will find the depiction of the end entire Pallava dynasty. So this is the only temple in the world where the depiction of one dynasty is completely given. So if you see the first panel, you will see a, a, a measuring vessel and a child next to it. There was a great um, historian of the, a woman historian in the first half of uh, the 20th century. Uh, Meenakshi, who has studied this temple so well. You'll get a book about this temple, beautiful book. If you're all interested in history and architecture, please do read that book. So you have a measuring vessel and a child next to it. So this is iconography. What does it mean? The measuring vessel is called dronam. And the depiction of the child means the child had an association with the measuring vessel in in our clinical language, we call it Petri dish, which is in vitro. So this child came from the Dronam. So this boy was called Drona. In the next panel, you see another child. Next to the child, you see a horse. So this child, while he was born, his crying was akin to the neighing of a horse. So he was Ashwatthama. Then you have the depiction of the kings later. So Pallavas were the descendants of Ashwatthama. So I spoke about two temples. One architecture of the world's largest non-functioning temple of Angkor Wat called Parama Vishnu Loka of the Khmer dynasty of the 13th century being inspired from this temple and this temple has Ashwatthama in it. Why is Ashwatthama important? That is where Bhagavatam begins. Mahabharata, if you read, even as a piece of literary work, devotion comes next. You will be amazed at the characters which Vyasa has given to us. So that is why Vyasa is deemed as somebody so divine. There is a shlokam that talks about the greatness of Vyasa because people who were amazed at the creation of Brahma thought he should be Brahma. People who were enamored by Narayana's activities thought he is Vishnu. People who were followers of Lord Shiva taught him to be Mahadeva. But he had none of the attributes what these Trimurtis have. Trimurtis, Brahma has four heads, Shiva has three eyes, Vishnu has four hands. So how do we define Vyasa came a million dollar question. To which the Karta says, he is Brahma. Undoubtedly he is Brahma because he has managed to create some of the best works in Sanatana Dharma. 
but is brahma minus three heads a chaturvadanor brahma he is also hari because he is able to sustain the knowledge that he has produced through these scriptures so he is hari but he is hari minus the two hands dvibahur aparo hari hi he knows how to bring an end to the cycle the vicious cycle of the sins committed so he is rudra murti in a way but he is rudra minus one eye achatur vadanor brahma dvibahur aparo hari hi aphala lochana shambhu bhagavan badarayana so vyasa has given one of the best works and mahabharata has a, not exactly a lakh and 25 but it is generally called sapada laksha grantham along with an appendix portion called harivamsham and it has got 18 parvas in it during the yuddham there was lot of politics in mahabharata yuddham given that krishna was on the side of pandavas you can just expect more thrill krishna did not want arjuna to uh, duryodhana to give a very important position to ashwatthama because ashwatthama was a nepotism kid why because drona if i get into mahabharatam i won't be able to get into bhagavatam but i'll still give a brief drona acharya was the son of a rishi called bharadwaja he had a vairi some altercation with the king of panchala called drupada and his motive was only to avenge the humiliation that was meted to him so he was waiting for an opportunity where he could have a coalition with somebody as strong as bhishma he tried to impress upon the children of pandu and dhritarashtra and was taken by recommended by the children they get good reviews about him and they took him to the presence of dhritarashtra and bhishma and bhishma said you should be the teacher of all possible vidyas to the children of kuruvamsha to the sons of dhritarashtra the dartarashtras and the sons of pandu called as pandavas and it was a exclusive deal signed with him that he will not teach any other prince that is when drona said i will do whatever you say but give exception only to my son ashwatthama alone shall read under my instructions so that was fine he just had one son contrary to the production value of those days so ashwatthama was accepted into the fold but in adi parva of shri mahabharatam vyasa vividly describes what kind of partiality the teacher come father showed to him, towards his son so he would ask the kuru princes to go fetch water in a ghatam that ghatam of all the kuru princes would be long and narrow enough so that the water takes little time to displace the air within and then get inside so it would take roughly about 10 minutes to fill that ghatam just giving you an example whereas he would give a different jar to his son which was broad in its opening so that the water could be fetched much faster and the sun could come would this take about 3 minutes 4 minutes to fill the pot and he would come and in that gap of 6 minutes he would teach extra portions to his son this is there in adi parva you can fact check me so he could teach extra portions to his son but the beauty was when his son would come running with the filled jar arjuna would also come at the same time so this teacher wondered how did this arjuna alone have this so arjuna said i read through google he said i use i used varunastram to fill the water in the jug and i didn't go to the lake at all so i came so drona knew in a way that even without partiality a boy can survive all test that i can give any god extremely attached to arjuna there was no way that arjuna could outsmart ashwatthama but 
Ashwatthama was taught a set of special astrams by his father, which Krishna knew was taught to him. Now don't ask how Krishna knew. Somewhere he read some magazine or something. Now, Krishna did not want Duryodhana to accord proper status to Ashwatthama because then the war will get even tougher. So before the war could begin in Udyoga Parva, Krishna one day calls, comes to Hastinapuram and on his way back he asks Ashwatthama, Ashwatthama have you performed your Sandhya Vandanam? Ashwatthama said, yes, it's time I have to come. No, no, let's both together go and perform. And he took. Krishna knew very well that he, while he was taking Ashwatthama, Shakuni and Duryodhana were seeing them. So Krishna wanted Duryodhana to see this scene. So as Krishna was bending down to take the jug, his ring fell. And Ashwatthama said, Krishna, here is your ring. The moment from a distance Duryodhana saw this, he construed that he is submitting himself and his honesty to Krishna. Krishna wanted this notion to come in Duryodhana. Thereby, despite knowing that Ashwatthama knew some special astrams, Duryodhana was very doubtful of making Ashwatthama the commander-in-chief. So it was given to Bhishma. And Krishna managed the situation in such a way that when Bhishma was fighting as a commander-in-chief, Karna will not enter the battlefield. So it was a lot of strategy there. Now as Bhishma started failing, when he was put into the bed of arrows, Sharatalpa Gato Bhishma. That is when Drona became the commander-in-chief. Now, Ashwatthama became the man in waiting. He never had the opportunity to become a commander-in-chief. Now, Drona became the commander-in-chief. Now, after Drona, if at all there was one portion quite adept enough, it was Ashwatthama. But Karna was made the commander-in-chief because Bhishma had gone to the bed of arrows. Now, after Karna, he waited for his turn. Now, Shalya became the commander-in-chief. Nakula and Sahadeva's uncle. After that, the Yuddham was close to over. The only three people left on the Kauravas side was Kritavarma, Kripa and Ashwatthama. That is when, while Duryodhana was extremely wounded, Yadam Rudhe Kaurava Sridhyayana Vireshvatho Viragatim Gateshu Bhagna Uru Dande. Uru, his thigh was hurt. He fell. Uru Dande. Thereby even his spine had broken. Uru Dande. Dhritarashtra Putre. While Duryodhana was lying by the banks of a lake. That is when Kritavarma, Ashwatthama and Kripacharya go. Ashwatthama and you know Kripacharya were related. Ashwatthama's mother was Kripi. Kripi's brother was Kripa. So they all went and submitted themselves to Duryodhana. Duryodhana said, now what do we do? We have, we have lost the battle. This man has lost. But Ashwatthama still had the ambition of becoming a commander-in-chief. There were only three people. I don't know how many of you follow Indian politics. In some of the political parties, there will be even one MP. He is the party leader. He is the MP. They will give press statements. Our party leader said, who is the party leader? He is the party leader. So, Ashwatthama wanted to become the commander-in-chief. He asked Duryodhana, can I become? Duryodhana said, okay, you become. But Ashwatthama did not know what to do next. Nobody on his side. You know, generally you say, come on, attack. There should be somebody to attack. <laughs> so he went and sat below the shade of a banyan tree. Nyagrodha Vriksha. It was around the evening time, it turned night. That is when he noticed 
a pack of crows that were seated on the branches of the Negrodha tree were attacked by a very ferocious owl. The moment he knew that the owl had attacked the birds, the crows, and they were consuming its flesh, he got an idea. Owls generally have better eyesight during the night. So he thought, why shouldn't I attack the Pandavas in the night? He got the idea. This comes in Ashwatthama Parva. You have got uh, after Shalya Parva. This is an important portion. Not exactly Ashwatthama. It's called Sautantika Parva. They were all sleeping. So this Ashwatthama goes. But he is not able to win over the soldiers also. That is when he prays to Mahadeva, Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva says, okay, I will give you a few weapons. It is very tough to win the side which is blessed by Krishna, but I will give you that weapon. He goes first into the tent of Drishtadhyumna. Drishtadhyumna was the brother to Draupadi, son of Drupada. He was the one who massacred Ashwatthama's father, Drona. So, while he was about to kill, Drishtadhyumna got up and said, See, now I am sleeping. You can still kill me, but use a weapon. Because it was a belief amongst the Kshatriyas that if you are killed by a weapon, you will go to heaven. But Ashwatthama said, Why should I fulfill your last wish? I will use my hands and he strangled him to death. Now, Drishtadhyumna died. And while he walked out, one soldier said the five are sleeping peacefully. So this Ashwatthama thought the five are the Pandavas. And as he shot arrows at the five men who were sleeping, the next day morning he read Times of Hastinapura. <laughs> Those were the five sons born to Draupadi through the Pancha Pandavas who were dead. Bhartu Priyam Drauni Riti Smapashyan Krishna Sutanam Swapatam Shiram Si. Krishna Sutanam. Krishna is Draupadi. Krishna Sutanam. The five sons of Draupadi were killed. Swapatam Shiram. See. Upahara Vipriyam Evatasya Jugupsitam Karma Vigarhayanti. He killed all five of them. Draupadi was very upset. Now Ashwatthama goes in the early hours of morning to the banks of the lake and he informs Duryodhana, I have killed the five sons of Draupadi while they were sleeping. He is very proud. But his act was so disgusting that Jugupsitam Karma Vigarhayanti, even Duryodhana said, you shouldn't have done that. Now his desire to become commander-in-chief came very late and no appreciation from the boss. Now, Draupadi was extremely upset. See, Draupadi's life, if we look into, people generally ask, what is the relevance of Mahabharata today? Draupadi, those of you who know Mahabharatam, did not have a childhood at all. She was born as a result of her father's vengeance. Drupada wanted to avenge the humiliation meted to him by Drona. So he reaches two rishis called Yaja and Upayaja. One says, I cannot perform yagas for such motives. The other one said, if you pay me, I will do. So Dwapara Yugam is very close to Kali Yugam in its time period. So he said, whatever motive you have, I will do. So this rishi performed Putra Kameshti. And a medical concoction was placed to be consumed by the wife so that eventually she gets pregnant. But she refused to come to the Yajna Shala. She was busy. So Drupada, he puts this concoction into the fire. Something that generally is not explainable through logic, but it happens in Mahabharatam where first Drishtadhyumna appears. He comes with all dressed, fully dressed from fire. You don't have to buy clothes also for him. Fully dressed he comes and he is the answer to his vengeance, which means Drishtadhyumna will be the one who shall annihilate Drona in a war. Deal done. All the priests, they started leaving. They got Dakshina and they said Namaskaram and they were leaving. But the fire had not yet got extinguished. 
another lady emerged out of it kumari cha api panchali vedi madhya samutthita shubhaga darshaniyangi vedi madhya manorama she was very beautiful to look at extremely dark vedi madhya samutthita shubhaga darshaniyangi extremely beautiful shyama padma palashakshi shyama extremely dark very pretty her eyes were as if the petals of a newly blossomed lotus is plucked and placed here large eyes she came but he said see this by product i didn't expect at all why because while putting the purna hoti the yeah the person who performed said whatever is your manoratham shall get accomplished while drona had dispatched his sishya arjuna to win over drupada drupada was amazed at arjuna's valor so he thought at the bottom of his heart if at all i have a daughter this man should be my son in law so draupadi came but one thing good for um, um, drupada was she emerged while she had just completed her adolescence so finding preschool lkg magnet school whether to write sat which is the top university whether to te- teach music dance whether they will drop after arangetram all these doubts were not there she had emerged as a full fledged individual so in two days she arranged the swayamvaram just one day she was happy from the day of her swayamvaram kings who were interested in her they were not able to lift the bow those who were victorious in the bow battle she was not interested in marrying the one who emerged victorious finally whom she married after she goes there the mother says you have to share then using certain article 54f and 44b yudhishthira explains okay it is fine to marry One, one woman marrying five men because we have had uh, uh, jatila and uh, padmalochana in those days who married 10 and 7 husbands this is only five so we can adjust so they all married after she married karna and duryodhana had an eye for her beauty as well as wanted to humiliate her the beauty is we are told a lot of things which are not there in mahabharatam while Arj- duryodhana walked in that palace of indraprastha he mistook the floor the pond to be a floor and he fell correct you have seen this rupa ganguli used to laugh correct <laughs> so then draupadi laughs and duryodhana feels humiliated and he that's thus calls them for gambling this is what you are told but if you read mahabharatam there is no verse while he falls that Dury- draupadi was laughing there is no verse later he goes to hastinapuram and he he would have never imagined even in the wildest of his dreams that such a beautiful mansion could be constructed and he wants it all for himself so he goes and elucidates to his father in such a fashion so that his father himself co- would coax him to bring them for a gambling that is when he says drupadanandini laughed at me he creates a scam only if he tells like this the father will call them so from then on she was humiliated then she was taken to the forest there she was kidnapped by her husband's brother in law jayadratha lot of events in draupadi's life were not happy at all so what is the relevance of mahabharatam even if you are the one emerged from the fire you are the friend of lord krishna you still have to suffer and bear your karma now mata shishunam nidhanam sutanam nishamya ghoram paritapyamana the moment she saw her five children lying dead tada rushad dwapa kala kulakshi tam santvayanna kirita mali seeing her in that state having lost her five sons how difficult it is for a mother to see her own child die five of them in one night so 
that time looking at her state kirita mali arjuna she had a very valor valorous husbands each one will promise so arjuna said don't worry i shall bring to book that person who has committed such a disgusting crime <clears throat> तदशुचस्ते प्रमृजा भद्रे यद्रह्म बंधो ब्रह्म बंधो ब्रह्म हियर स्टैंड फॉर ब्राह्मण बंधु मीन बंधु मीन चपंडी फ्रेंड मैत्री भाव कदा सो फ्रेंडिप बट ब्रह्म बंधु मीन एनिमी ऑफ ब्राह्मण सी वेन यू ब्रिंग टू वर्ड्स इन संस्कृत इट नेसेसरीली डजेंट हैव टू मीन the joining of the two meanings brahmana bandhu separately means brahmana friend brahma bandhu means enemy of brahmanas so arjuna went behind brahma bandhu yad brahma bandho shira atatainah gandiva muktair vishikhai rupa hare twakramya yatsnasi dagda putra then arjuna says don't worry i will bring that person and he i will wipe your tears and he goes mahabharata yuddham is over but still look at the miseries that they are facing iti priyam valgu vichitra jalpaihi sasantva yitva chuta mitra sutaha krishna said arjuna wherever you go i'll come see arjuna was very lucky krishna said i will also follow when my friend draupadi is suffering i won't let you like that arjuna i will also come अन्वाद्रवंशित उग्रधन्व कपिध्वजो गुरुपुत्रम रथेन दे स्टार्टेड फॉलोइंग अश्वत्थामा नाउ इट वाज वेरी इजी टू गेस हु कुड हैव डन दिस बिकॉज़ देयर आर ओनली थ्री पीपल लेफ्ट ऑन द अदर साइड सो इवन आंसर बाय रिजेक्शन मेथड जनरली वी डू दैट इन मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस इट वाज इजी टू डू तमापतंतम स विलक्ष्य दूरत कुमार इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी अंडरस्टैंड हाउ एंशिएंट एजुकेशन सिस्टम वर्क logic and logical reasoning was extremely important and integral to ancient education system if you go to shrimad ramayanam hanuman is not a sajatiya vastu first of all he is a vanara jati first of all when you are from a different species kingdom phylum family you may not share the same feelings that is why we say dogs are more faithful right we may not share attributes here vanara jati hanuman who did not even know what is steam work because he he was only student in his school under surya deva no team work group discussion nothing he has done and he has not seen narajati and he had vowed not to marry so he has never seen a woman leave alone narajati even vanara jati the only two women whom he has seen is vali patni tara and sugriva patni ruma and he has a very bad opinion about them one one brother kidnapped the other person's wife so he said he he said my decision to not marry is qed when all this was there suddenly he is given one assignment you have to go in search of a narajati man's wife who is this lady he has never seen why she is kidnapped he doesn't know but suddenly one task is given go fetch sita one profile photo is also not shown so how will he know this is only sita that is why when you read sundara kandam those of you who read will know first when he went to sri lanka lankapuri he mistook ravana patni to be sita what is ravana patni mandodari not mandodari mandodari manda udaram she had very uh, thin hip and a very limited stomach manda udaram mandodari so he mistakes mandodari to be sita and then asks photayama sa chuchumba pucham nananda chikrida jagau jagama stamba naroham nipapata bhumau nidarshayam swam prakritim kapinam then he says no no rama's wife will not be so happily sleeping next to ravana 
there will be some disgust. So she, he goes in search and finally lands up in uh, Ashoka Vanam and sees one lady. She looks supposedly at a direction where Rama is. She has got tears rolling down her cheeks. This could be Sita. Then he concludes this could be Sita on a few more reasons. The same sari which was torn by Sita to cover the ornaments to be thrown at the monkeys in Kishkinta was the same sari left in her body. So, he, and those ornaments which were thrown by her were not found on her. That's very important, right? Nobody will be having two, uh, they'll be wearing two sets of earrings. One I will take, the other one will remain here. You cannot do that. Until and unless you use VFX. So, so as she has thrown those jewellery, those were not found on her body. Same sari. Tarkayamasa siteti is vakyam in Sundarakandam. Using logic, he concludes this is Sita. Similarly, if Drishtadyumna is killed, Kripacharya and Kritavarma may not have so much of vengeance against him as much as Ashwatthama would have. So Krishna concludes it's Ashwatthama. He says, Arjuna, follow Ashwatthama. Tama patantam sa vilakshya durat kumara hod vidagda manarathena paradravat prana paripsuvaryam yavad gamam rudrabhaya yatharkaha yatharkaha yatharkaha. There are two. Those of you who read Bhagavatam, there are two versions to it, says the commentator. Yatha kaha, yathar kaha. Yatha kaha means like Brahma. Kaha means Brahma. Samskritam kaha means Brahma. Like Brahma. Yathar kaha. Yatha arkaha. Arkaha is Surya. Like sun. So here if you add, the chandas doesn't change. But the meaning changes. Like Brahma, like Surya. There is a explanation to it. I am not getting into it because I have to finish a lot of portions today. I am like those teachers in the schools before quarterly exams. If they have not completed, they will borrow periods from other teachers and they will complete. Now I am in that state. So then as soon as they spot Ashwatthama and Ar uh, Arjuna holds him, Krishna tells kill him now. You kill him. We have killed so many people. This is just going to be one more murder. Kill. That is when Vethedam Drona Putrasya Brahmastram Pradarshitam Kill him. But Arjuna says, No, sir, I won't kill. It is not right. He felt it's not right to kill. So he said, Let's see what he does. Now, this Ashwatthama, the moment he was given, shown mercy by Arjuna, he goes closer to Vyasacharya's ashramam and puts an astram called Brahma Shiras. It was an astram called Brahma Shiras. There was another astram called Brahmastram. Brahma, Brahma astram is like surf. Brahma Shiras is like super surf. So, surf excel. Huh? So, this Brahma Shiras was the astram taught to Ashwatthama by his father, not taught to Arjuna. But it, can, it will have a lot of intersection. A intersection B will be there between Brahmastram and Brahmasharas. So Krishna then tells, see he has aimed Brahmasharas. You put Brahmastram. Krishna, Arjuna says, see all he is causing one destruction. Why should I do? No, don't worry. When these two meet, no destruction much will happen. Just do it. Now Arjuna says, what is the use of me doing? Because if you, you aim the Brahmastram, Vyasacharya will come and say, don't fight. Two countries cannot fight. Fuel prices are rising. Don't fight. He will come and say, and then he will say, retract your weapons. What will happen then Krishna? That is when Krishna says, you know how to retract your Brahmastram. He doesn't know how to retract Brahmashiras. How do you know that Krishna? Don't ask how media knows. I am media. I know he doesn't know how to retract. Vethedam drona putrasya brahmastram pradarshitam naivasau vedasamharam pranabadha upasthite shrutva bhagavata proktam phal guna paraviraha Sprishtva Pastam Parikramya Brahmam Brahmastram Sandade. 
See, you will know the greatness of a character in those days if they are addressed by various names. Dhritarashtra is always called Dhritarashtra only. There is no other name. Of course, in those of you who know the Tamil Pasurams will know for Tiruvalli Keni. How many of you are from Tripli uh, So, in one of the Pasurams by Tirumangayarvar, he says, Andhagan Sirvan. Andhakan is the name given to Dhritarashtra. Andhakan, one who can't see. So, greatness of a character is known by the names. In fact, fans of Mahara, Mahabharatam will know towards the end of the year of incognito, Ajnatavasam called Virata Parva, when Godahana Kalam, Gograhana Kalam happens and Kauravas were fighting, Dhritarashtra Putras were fighting with the son of Matsyadesha Raja called Uttara Kumara, the Sarathi was Brihannala. So, as the time comes, when Arjuna is noting down the time, because the 13th year has to end. The moment he sees that has ended, he says, Uttara Kumara, take me to the Shmashana Bhumi, graveyard. How can I take you to the graveyard? If somebody kills us, then we will go to graveyard. No, you take me to the graveyard and then he removes a dead body from the Shami tree. And those were the weapons of the Pandavas. The moment he sees one unique bow, Uttara Kumara asks, what is this? Arjuna says, this is Gandivam. Why are you having Gandivam? You are a Bharatanatyam dance teacher huh? from Kalakshetra. <laughs> See, I am associating Kalakshetra now with Mahabharata. Take that Gandivam. He said, no, this is my bow. Who oh, is it your bow? It's Arjuna's bow. I am Arjuna. Then Uttara Kumara asks, Now you tell me the ten names of Arjuna. <laughs> to Arjuna. And Arjuna starts telling, Kiriti Mali, I am Palguna, Savyasachi. Savyasachi means ambidextrous. One who can shoot through both the arrows. In Bengal, Va becomes Ba. That is why it is Savyasachi. He stitches, right? <laughs> uh, maybe he's stitching from both hands. Palgunavi Paraviraha Sprishtva Pastam Parikramya Brahmam Brahmastram Sandadhe. You shoot this arrow. Then Arjuna shot. Tata Asadya Tarasa Darunam Gautami Sutam Babandha Marshatam Brakshaha Pashum Rashnaya Yatha. Then Vyasacharya came and said, Sir, if both of you are fighting like this, what to do? Retract your weapons. That is when as usual Ashwatthama did not know and Krishna said, no, no, my friend Arjuna will do for him also. Arjun, action king, do it. And he did. So as soon as Arjuna did that, Ashwatthama was pulled in front of Draupadi. Now Draupadi saw Ashwatthama being pulled through ropes. Tatha krutam pashuvat pasha baddham avang mukam karma jukup sitena. Niriksha Krishna Apakritam Guru Sutam Vama Swabhava Kripayana Namacha. This Draupadi said, You should not insult your Guru Putra like, like this. Release him from the ropes. That is the greatness of Draupadi. See, Mahabharata Draupadi is ferocious. Bhagavatam Draupadi is very nice. Why? Because age will always bring maturity in a person. Supposed to bring maturity in a person. Let's keep it that way. See, while the humiliation happened in the Sabha, that is when you have that Shapatham. I will keep my hair open and if I have to tie it back, I have to drench it in the blood of Dushyasana's chest. See, when there is rib cage, very little blood will be there. But... It has to be torn open. From that I will drench my hair and then tie it back. Make it a bun. So Veni means plating. Veni Samharam is a beautiful drama that you should all read. If you are all students of Sanskritam, by Bhattanarayana there is a natakam called Veni Samharam. So Draupadi was that ferocious. But now see age. She has lost her five sons. She says, yet we need to respect your Guru Putra. Release him. One side, Draupadi says, release him. But Bhima comes and says, kill him first. 
Now Arjuna is caught. What to do? That is when Krishna says, if you take the Shikha from the Brahmana, he ceases to be a Brahmana. So he will die. So take off the Shikha. And the crest jewel that was taken. Now this is where it doesn't stop. What this Ashwatthama does is, after being humiliated again, he has got another astram called Apandave astram. He says, if I have not been able to kill the Pandavas and I have just killed the sons of the Pandavas, I will go one PD, one generation more and kill the fetus that is developing in the womb of Uttara, who is Abhimanyu Patni. You know, this Uttara Kumara I just spoke seven minutes back. This Uttara Kumara has a sister called Uttara. So this Uttara was a dance student of Brihannada. So the moment the king realizes that the teacher was Arjuna, he says, marry my daughter. Arjuna says, this is wrong. See, the teacher starts marrying the student. Then no parent will have the courage to send the children to school. So I will get this daughter of yours married to my son Abhimanyu who is growing up in Dwaraka. Khemcho Majama. <laughs> I will bring him here and he will marry. Now this Abhimanyu was killed in Chakravyuham. Before Abhimanyu could leave to the battle, a few months before, she showed the strip and there were lines. She was pregnant. <laughs> so this lady was the only one because everybody else had died. Draupadi's son had died. The son born to Hidimba called Ghatotkacha died. Nobody was left. Krishna's sons died. Duryodhana's son died. So the only person who they could keep their confidence on was the child who is to be born. So this man programmed the astram. Draunyasya viplushta midam madangam Santana bijam kuru pandavanam Jugopa kukshim gatiyatta chakraha matuschame yasharanam gatayaha. So that is when the apandaveyastra prayogam happened. Ashwatthama, after being humiliated, he programmed the astram saying that it should go and destroy the fetus within the amnionic sac of Uttara. As this astram was aimed, Uttara started experiencing excruciating pain in her womb. The only refuge for them was Krishna. So she comes running. Pahi pahi mahayogin deva deva jagatpate nanyam tvad abhayam pashye yatra mrutyuhu parasparam abhidravati mamisha sharastapnosya vibho kamam dahatumam nata mame garbho nipatyatam Please protect us. Along with Uttara came Uttara's mother-in-law. Who is Uttara's mother-in-law? Wrong answer, stand up on the bench. Uh, Subhadra. Who is Subhadra's co-wife? Andhraupadi. Who is their mother-in-law? Kunti. All of them were living. See? Kunti, her daughter's-in-law, Subhadra and Draupadi, and Subhadra's daughter-in-law, Uttara, they all come one like wholesale and they come and do Sharanagati at the feet of Krishna. Krishna Yava Sudeva Yadeva Ki Nandanaya Cha Nanda Gopa Kumara Yagovinda Yanamun Namaha Nama Pankaja Nabhaya Nama Pankaja Malini Nama Pankaja Nitraya Namaste Pankaja Angraye Please protect us. You've been protecting us for long. Help us now. That is when the Apandaveyastra Prayogam happened and that had tortured the fetus within Uttara's womb. Bhagavatam says, Angushthamatra Purushaha The Lord went into the womb and started going around the child. Now the child started getting worried. See, this is the only place where there is no encroachment. <laughs> Suddenly, who is going around me? And the child started looking left, right and around. Ikshate means to see. Pari means around. Pari Ikshate, the child was called Pari Kshit. 
So he started looking around. Now as he started looking around, Lord went. That is when later Parikshit asks, this question, shloka comes later. Draunyasya viplushtam idam madangam draunyasya, draunyastram, drauni means the son of drona. Drona putraha, drauni is Ashwatthama. Draunyastra viplushta midam madangam santana bijam kuru pandavanam jugoba kukshim gati atta chakraha. Parikshita asks, how did Krishna come and protect me while I was in my mother's womb with this chakram? See, the problem is, as such, she was suffering because of the astram causing extreme heat. And Krishna goes with his chakram. That also causes heat. Correct. Sudarshanam bhaskara koti tulyam. But remember, Sudarshana is generally called as the Lord's willpower. His divine will is called Saudarshanam in Agama Shastram. So, Sudarshana as per Agama Shastram, when you do Sankalpam, can also be as cooling as the moon. So, generally for fever, they will say, say Sudarshana Ashtakam. 103 fever. Why should I say Sudarshana Ashtakam? Because he can cool you also. Moon can get, give you scorching rays. See, in love, in separation, it is called Vipralamba Shringaram. When they are separated, the man and the woman. And they experience the nectarine rays of the moon falling on them. They still feel the heat. In Ashtapadi it comes. Nindati chandanam indu kiranamanu vindati khedam adhiram. Radha says, see, I get the rays of the moon, but they are so scorching. So Sudarshana went and protected. Now the Lord went around the child. So the child was born. Bhagavatam gives one account that the child was born in a healthy manner. But Mahabharatam has a slightly different account. It says the child was born as immovable with no reaction like a log of wood. Kashtapashana. That is when there was a Ashariri Vakya which said that whoever is a Brahmachari and who has always spoken only the truth. If a person suffices these two conditions and touches the child, the child shall get its life. The ethereal voice said. Every rishi went away. <laughs> because if they touch and the child doesn't survive, it will place a lot of questions on their character, their status and everything. So as they all left, the only person left in the room was Krishna. And both these conditions, he has to be a brahmachari, he should not have spoken any untruth. Uttara thought, why? Sh but she didn't want to hurt him. See, if she doesn't give the child to Krishna, then Krishna will feel humiliated. So she said, Krishna, take this. Krishna took the, supposedly the child, which, which was not moving at all, showing no signs of survival. There is a shlokam in Mahabharatam. Yedi me brahmacharyam syat satyam cham avyahatam yena jeevatu balakaha. If I am a Brahmachari, never have I ever. Who's that? Devi Vishwakumara? Ah. So, never have I ever been, I've never spoken the untruth, then let this child come. Yena jeeva tu balakaha. If I've spoken only the truth and I'm a Brahmachari. Sir, how sir Brahmachari? Because after marriage, if you follow the Shastras and abstain from relationship with the partner on certain days mentioned as Punitam, then you still continue being a Brahmachari despite being a Grihastha, says Shastram. So he followed the Shastram and the child... So that time, Vyasa says, this child was giving a test, examination to Krishna's virtues, Pariksha. So he was called Parikshit. That is another way to derive this name. So this child, Parikshit was born. Now let's cut the story. Now Parikshit has grown. In the old movies, they'll put one wheel. Now Parikshit has become a king. Now Parikshit, he goes on hunting. As he goes on hunting, I think in the US also, certain states have license for hunting, right? So, Parikshit got US license. 
and went on hunting because in india one person went to rajasthan for hunting hmm. so so being human parikshit he took the license for hunting and went he was very tired whether he hunted or not he became very tired you don't have to do anything to get tired see generally after 2 hours of lecture you get up you will see the audience will be tired <laughs> so parikshit he got tired and he was very thirsty he went to the ashramam which was very close by of a rishi called shamika Shamika was performing dhyanam. Dhyanam he was performing, meditation. What should you do for dhyanam? Close your eyes. So, interestingly, when Krishna talks about Ashtanga Yoga, he doesn't say close your eyes. He, if you close your eyes, that is not dhyanam as per Sanatana Dharma. You should keep your eyes partially open. It is one of the parts of Ashtanga Yoga. Yamam, Niyamam, Asanam, Pranayamam, Pratyaharam, Dharana, Dhyanam, Samadhi. So Dhyana is one of the Angas to the Ashtanga Yoga. You have to keep your eyes partially closed. Like, if at all the sun is rising in your city at 6 a.m., at 5.55, the lotus will be ready to blossom. So it wouldn't have blossomed and it wouldn't be closed. It would be in a semi-open state. Similarly, should your eyes be and the eyes should focus to the tip of your nose as per Dhyana Shastra. It should focus at the tip of your nose. Whether our nose is good or not. It could be like Garuda or it could be like a capsicum. We won't know. But you still have to focus to the end of your nose and there you should see the image, the rupam of your deity whom you worship. Tatte Pratyagra Dhara Dhara Lalita Kala Yavali Kelikaram Lavanya Seikasaram Sukriti Janadrisham Puruna Punyavataram Lakshmi Nishanka Lila Nilayana Mabrita Sandya Sando Hamanta Sinchatu Sanchintakanam Bapuranu Kalaye Maruta Agara Natha says Bhattadri. So you should meditate on that. Now this Rishi was performing proper Dhyanam. When you are performing proper Dhyanam, even if you burst a bomb, you should not be able to hear. So this Rishi was performing Dhyanam. Now Parikshit was very thirsty. He went and said, water please. This year you had good rains, right? Otherwise, you know, whichever house have come in the past in California, above that wash basin, it will be written, save water, don't waste so probably this man also did not have water in his ashramam. He did not open his eyes and he didn't offer. Parikshit was extremely upset. He was angry as well. He saw a dead snake lying there. With his arrow, he took the dead snake and placed it around the neck of this rishi. And he went away. This was the ways that he could vent his anger. He didn't get water at the end of the day. He went now, this act of Parikshit, the Raja, was noticed by Shamika, the, the Rishi's son's friend. <laughs> so, this boy went and told his the Rishi's son, see, you are, you are doing all these karma, your father has been insulted. Immediately, Shamika took some waters and said, that I pronounce a curse upon the king who has done such a disgusting act to die in a span on the seventh day from now with the bite of a snake with virulent poison called Takshaka. So this curse was pronounced and he comes. Then when he comes to his ashramam, his father says, now he woke up from his meditation. This man could have woken up few minutes before. Apapeshu Swabhrityeshu. See, you are a Brahmana. You should not get angry. First of all, you say Manyur Akarishit. There is one mantra which everybody says before that idli. Kamo Karishit Manyur Akarishit. If somebody asks who did this, we conveniently do this blame game. I did not do. Desire did. Anger did. 
Kamo akarishit, manyur akarishit. Manyu means anger. That is why in the first Anuvakam of Sri Rudram, Lord Shiva is very angry. So that is why we say, please reduce your anger. Be our friend. After doing the Mangala Shlokam, Manyu is what the first mantram of Sri Rudram says. He Because he is carrying bow. Yataishu Shivatama Shivamba Bhuvate Dhanu Shiva Sharavya Tavataya No Rudram Ridaya Then we say, get Soft Rudra, be my friend. So bring your anger down. So the father says, why should you get angry? Don't do this. Apapeshu svabhrityeshu balanam apakva buddhina papam kritam tad bhagavan sarvatma kshantu marhati tiraskrita vipralabdha shapta kshipta hata api nasya tad pratikurvanti tad bhakta ha prabhavopihi you may be wondering, sir, when you speak in English, it is so nice. Why do you have to quote the Sanskrita shlokas? That is our paddhati. If you listen to these shlokas only, there is punya. My narration, no use. Now, this curse pronounced upon Parikshit reaches the years of Parikshit. Media was very active those days. Media said, our king will die in seven days. After reading that article only, Parikshit knew, knew that he will die. Then he asked, well, how will I die? Takshaka, that snake will kill you. So, Parikshit, now, now imagine, we are told in seven days you are going to die. Put this curse on yourself. Now imagine, what will we do? Seven days is only left, whether we have to come to Bhagavatam. What we have to cook lasagna, huh? whether to look at yoga ambal sundar, huh? what menu to cook, so many things. Now what he does, he goes and sits by the banks of river Ganga, Prayopavesham. He doesn't eat, fast until death, not even having a glass of Mosambi juice behind the screen. Our leaders generally have. Now, as he sits, one young boy walks into the arena. Very handsome. He can be, he can participate in this congeniality contest, Mr. World. Tam dvayashtavarsha sukumara pada karoru kapola patram. Handsome face, beautiful countenance that is just emitting sheer radiance and effulgence. Beautiful neck. See, if you look at our Shastras, the way they describe, they will give importance to every bhagam for neck. Shankhu karnam, kambu grivam. These are all words. When Shurpanaka describes Sita to Ravana, she says, kambu grivam, her neck. You can see it distinctively because for thin people, you can see the neck, hip, everything distinctly. As the quantity increases in the intake, slowly this upper torso and the head will get attached. Kambugrivam. When Bhattadri describes Krishna, he says, Unmila dantapanti spuratarunatara chaya bimbadarantaha. I see two rows of teeth that can shear easily win over the glitter of the constellation of stars. Unmila dantapanktihi. Look at the way the teeth are placed. I have read somewhere, one person went with his friend to a party. He was having food, the buffet system. The plate will weigh 1 kg, food is half a kg. So like, Govardhana Giridharan is eating. Now, as he and his friend were eating, a lady opposite them was constantly looking at his friend. And she smiled and he too. And as he smiled, she smiled even further. And she came closer to this man. And this man was, of course, uh, on cloud nine. And even if there's a better cloud than that. So he told his friend, see, she's looking at me. She's impressed with me. And then this lady comes and says, come and meet me. He was all the more impressed. 
So he said, why should I meet you? Am I that handsome? No, I'm a dentist. <laughs> Your teeth needs correction. While you smiled, I saw this. Come. Unmeela danta pangti spura taruna tarachaya bimba darantaha. So, Shukab Brahmam, this boy who came into the arena, who was so handsome, was Shukab Brahmam. Now you should ask a question. See, Parikshit was a normal king. There were other kings as well. It is just not this Vamsham. There were. Now, if a person has to die in seven days, will Shukab Brahmam come on his own? What was so special about Parikshit that Shukab Brahmam came? Question is the question correct? Let me give the answer later. Question is correct. Uh, this is where we need to understand the process of naming people in those days. At least during the Puranic days, I'm telling. So people with a great insight and people who could see the future very vividly would come and name the child. They will know what the child will be based on the placement of grahas jyotishya shastram was true is still true in the but if you do it in a very very scholastic way reading four books and coming and telling predictions every day because in jyotishya shastram you can never tell predictions every day that is the beauty every day what will happen that you can't do in jyotishya shastram but they do now if i tell this somebody will cut this small viral clip and every astrologer will abuse me on the meat. So, let them live happily. Now, when Rama was born, Swacha Samstheshu Panchasu, five grahas were in the exalted state. Pancha Uche Lokanayakaha, if you have got five grahas in the exalted state, you become a world leader, says Jyotishya Shastra. Five, you will be recognized by the world. Pancha Uche Lokanayakaha, Pancha Uche. And Vagpata Vinduna Saha, in one of the houses, I think in the 12th house, Rama's horoscope, there is uh, Brihaspati, Guru and Chandra. You know Chandra and Brihaspati's rumor, right? See, this Brihaspati's or son born through his wife was not of his. It was through Chandra. So Chandra and Brihaspati's wife's son was Buddha. So, they, both of them in the same house in the Jatakam, you know what problems will come. So, in Rama's Jatakam, you had this. In that case, in Jyotishya Shastam, there is a small nuance that you check what is the graha next to that house. Vakpata Vinduna Saha, next what is there. It leads to a dosham called Kemadruma Yogam. If there is Kemadruma Yogam, there are chances for permanent separation in the couple. So, that is when Dasharatha gets a lot perturbed looking at the Jatakam. But, there was a small escape from the Kemadruma Yogam because there was somebody in the second position, if I am right, of Rama's Jatakam. That is why, though he didn't have a permanent separation, there, were, there was on and off separation from Sita. Now, let's get back to this. Now, people would always christen a child based on Jyotishya Shastra. Looking at the child and what is going to happen in future. So the one who named Parikshit's mother. Who is a mother now? Uttara. All of you are attentive. Very good. Now Uttara. Uttara. Ut means higher. Ut Purushaha. Uttara Purushaha. Purushottamaha. This is how we derive. Ut means higher. Uttara means the one who is to be venerated, worshipped. What was so special because, see we have had a slew of Acharyas. For example, we have had Adi Shankara Bhagavat Pada. His mother was a great lady called Aryamba. Aryamba bore Adi Shankara. Great. See, when you have a son like this, the parents get the respect. So, Aryamba is to be venerated because she had a great Bhagavatottama as her son. Kanti Mati. She was the mother of Bhagavad Ramanuja. To be venerated, she gave one of the best intellects and reformers of the world. She is to be venerated. Tota Ramma. 
she was the mother of vedanta deshika what a prodigy she produced so you have mothers of such great acharya varyas they all gave birth to bhagavatottamas on the other hand we have had kaushalya she gave birth to the lord himself urubagal ulagellam udarattul podindu arumaraikku arumavanai anjana karumugil kolundu elil kaattum shodiyai tiruvura payarndanal tiramkol kosalai sesta tamil poet kamban ततश्चे मसे चैत्रे नवमीके तिथौ नक्षत्रे अतिथिदेवे स्वच्छ संस्थु पंचसु कौशल्या टू बी वेनरेटेड इन कृष्णावतारम देवकी शी बोर द लॉर्ड सो ऑन वन सैड यू हेव आदिशंकर राज देशिका मध्वा एंड सो मेनी आचार्य एंड देर मदर्स फॉर हेविंग गिवन बर्थ टू इंटेलेक्चुअल एंड भागवतोत्तम द बेस्ट अमंग्स डिवोटी सच एस दम ऑन दि अदर हैंड यू हेव द लिस्ट ऑफ कौशल्या देवकी एंड मेनी अदर्स हू गेव बर्थ टू द लॉर्ड भगवान हिमसेल्फ but uttara was the only one at one point in time she had bhagavan and bhagavata in her womb she had both parikshit and krishna in her womb see generally a child who has come out of the mother's womb can never get back into the mother's womb see after 5 years the child says i want to get back into your uterus how will you get but krishna had the that unique opportunity after having come from devaki's womb with angushtha matra purusha he gets into the womb of another mother so in a way uttara also birthed krishna so at one point in time uttara was carrying both bhagavan and bhagavatottama that is why the person who would have named her knew the future and called her the venerated one uttara this uttara son is parikshit so if he is a bhagavatottama he has to listen to bhagavatam so shuka brahmam came on his own he knew what the future is and he came to the presence of parikshit that is when parikshit asks two questions i have to, i keep telling this in many of my lectures we as a civilization largely have believed in the art and the science of questioning we are not as a civilization against questioning so he asked questions two questions he asks yat shrotam avyamatho japyam yat kartavyam nibhiprabho smartavyam bhajani yam va bruhi yadva viparyayam atav pricchami sam siddhim yogi nam paramam gurum जीवाडी नौ वी आर फाइन when the jivatma has to exit what should he do that is when shuka brahmam answers those questions first you have to answer tasmad bharata sarvatma bhagavan ishvaro hari hi shrotavya kirtitavyascha smartavyeschata bhayam you can get rid of the fear of death when you keep listening to the past times of hari this is what it is said how should one listen like the devotees of beria <laughs> see you have all promised seven days you are going to come no i'll send notice see if you don't if you cross the rules here you get the ticket right everybody will get a ticket if that you have not come to the lecture so every day you have to come smarta vyo bhaga you have been mentioned in bhagavatam tasmad bharata sarvatma bhagavan ishvaro hari hi etavan sankhya yoga abhyam swadharma parinishthaya janma labha para pumsam ante narayana smriti hi this thinking of the lord and having a peaceful death won't come suddenly be the way you want finally on the death bed vitals are being checked 
whether the pressure is right or not whether the or every report is then suddenly you cannot remember hari it has to come through practice so if you keep listening how should you listen only 7 days no you should listen to at least 2000 hours of shravanam every year plan it out when you drive when you do your gym when you lift those stones when you cook when you eat you can still keep listening even while you are about to sleep or for sleeping whether it serves you to sleep or whether you want to listen before sleeping you can still keep listening many of them say sir such good sleep we get after your lecture <laughs> they have still used the word after not during Uh, some of them they wonder see after having spoken for so many years also he comes closer to the mic and shouts in the middle because i would have seen two people sleeping <laughs> so you know the moment i do that they will wake up then i will also go back smarta vyo bhagavan hari hi so these are the questions asked now as this question is asked i have to take you to one important place of shrimad bhagavatam again now this parikshit asks shuka brahmam can you tell how i was protected see first of all my life history itself is very thrill like a thriller i have heard that i was protected by the lord while i was in my mother's womb tell me about that krishna this is the question but you know when you do not know the exact answer for a question in an exam you will write what you know okay so this very uh, story which is told time and again the boy prepared well about the cow hmm? and finally he was asked write about the coconut tree he wrote everything about the cow and finally said this cow was tied to the coconut tree <laughs> similarly the question was dronyasya viplushtam idam madangam the one who protected me from droni's astram this was the question now shukabrumam said wait see generally for a movie director you have to keep that thrill till the end else people will not even buy popcorn before this interval itself they'll go so he starts telling how the world was created now shukabrumam parikshit was wondering what was my question what is he answering because generally people who give discourses will do that when you look to the poster bhagavatam what is bhagavatam first day bhagavatam mahatmyam did he begin did he begin you will keep checking i would have not begun so here how was the world created all that he says in that process he talks about bhishma acharyas lost what was his last minutes looking like bhishma acharya you all know was gangeya ganga putra he is like shanmukha ganga putra is also shanmukha muruga is also regarded as a gangeya kartike ya gangeya gauri tanaya so bhishma was ganga's son but in those days he had a unique boon he will die only when he chooses to die thank god we don't have that boon <laughs> after 65 you get pension here right for citizens this treasury will go bankrupt if people are choose to live when they till when they want to live so bhishma acharya was lying on the bed of arrows sharatalpa gato bhishma that is when they all go uddhava goes vidura goes and they ask bhishma what is that sight that you loved the most in the battle mahabharata yuddham is this a question in the war you fought sir which was the most interesting scene bhishma answer see however atrocious the questions are in an interview you have to still answer now that is when bhishma says त्रिभुवन कमनम तमाल वर्णम इधे रागम पड़ते 
ത്രിഭുവന കമനം തമാലവർണം രവികര ഗൗരവാംബരം ദധാനെ വാപുരലകുലാവൃതാനാബ്ജം വിജയ സഖേ രതിരസ്തു മേന വദ്യാ ഐ സി ദ സൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ചാരിയറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ ഫ്രണ്ട് ആർ ഫോർ ഹോർസസ് ഓഫ് വൈറ്റ് കളർ seated standing as a rathi behind is arjuna and before is vijaya sakha the friend called parthasarathi that glimpse of how he stands and sits is the glimpse that i wish to see vijaya sakhe rathi rastu mena vadya yudhi turaga gajo dhruma vishva ൂലിതശ്രമാര്യലങ്കൃതസ്യമാനീവ്യൂത്തം and then he said these people are wo positive ye positive my blood relations ye mukli ulgu am mukli ulgu we are all relatives so i cannot kill these people krishna said see they were your relatives even yesterday but yesterday you pledged that you shall kill and suddenly what has happened to you now krishna starts giving one lecture he is called for an upanyasam and he talks about karma yoga gnana yoga bhakti yoga sharanagati utri sthita pragna four levels aishwarya arti bhagavallabha arti arjuna forgot what question he asked whether i should fight them or not this man is giving some other lecture out of syllabus hmm? then finally he said no no i will fight it was maybe it was not even out of the knowledge he had garnered we utta your page india power so i will fight krishna and he started fighting now arjuna did not fight the battle seriously first eight nine days slowly he will throw an arrow at bishma bishma would catch <laughs> krishna was thinking see i have left my work in dwaraka i have volunteered to be this man sarathi he is taking undue advantage of my patience yudhi turaga gajo vidhumra vishva So what Bhishma did was, he wanted to slowly irritate Krishna. See, irritating people need not come from enemies. Even your lovable ones can irritate you. So he started throwing arrows at Krishna. So Krishna started getting hurt. That is why the Divya Mangala Vigraham of Parthasarathi in Triplicane has those arrows. as as to commemorate krishna's sacrifices for arjuna then finally krishna started sweating see kurukshetra bhumi north of india they are fighting during summer no thanda in year kaisa ho payega so fully he was sweating krishna said see i am not worried about tanning because i am <laughs> but i am sweating and this man is not fighting the battle seriously mama nishita sharaira vidyamana now bhishma charya tells this while he is letting lying on the bed of arrows i in before me because first he gave one zoom out sight now he has zoomed in and he is saying that krishna had those scars from the arrows that i had aimed at him after saying so he says you know what is that one sight that i desire to see again and again മഹാഭാരതം ബിഫോർ ദ യുദ്ധം ബിഗാൻ ദർ ഹസ് ടു ബി എ പ്രസ് കോൺഫറൻസ് റൈറ്റ് ബിഫോർ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഡേ പ്രീവിയസ് first day eve you need that press conference they all went to bishma acharya he was the dumbledore of those days so they went to bishma and they asked 
Bhishma, what is your prediction? How many seats you will win? How many seats they will win? How many will wickets will go? That is when Bhishma Acharya said, I don't know who will win. But one thing for sure, I will surely make Krishna bite the dust. Thereby, Krishna shall be defeated. Press said, Sir, he is not fighting. Krishna was not fighting because Krishna's sister's husband was Arjuna. Correct? Krishna's son was married to Duryodhana's daughter. You have heard of it? Duryodhana didn't tell you. <laughs> Duryodhana and Krishna were sambandhis. Duryodhana had a daughter who was married to Krishna and Jambavati's son called Shambha. So they were sambandhis. So Krishna said, I will choose this position, I won't fight. And then added to that, Shakuni told Duryodhana to go and ask, tell Krishna to promise that he will not use any weapon. And Krishna said, okay, I won't use weapon. Arjuna said, sir, if you are not using weapon, what is your work on the battlefield? I have gone to the battlefield, what will you do? I will not fight. What will you use? Your audience is it? No, Krishna said, don't worry, you send your driver Suresh on casual leave for 18 days, I will become your Sarathi. So Krishna became the Sarathi. So Krishna had vowed that he will not use a weapon at all. And Bhishma Acharya in the press conference says, I will make Krishna use a weapon. So this is one pledge, next pledge. So the reporters wrote, we don't know who will win, Bhishma or Krishna? Question mark. Now on the 10th day, when Krishna saw Arjuna fighting like this, throwing one arrow, Bhishma catching, throwing it back like frisbee, Krishna thought this is not going to go. He jumped off his charioteer's position. He went running towards the chariot where Bhishma was standing, took the wheel that was fallen off a chariot, took that in his hand, Gati Atta Chakraha. He said, I don't need a Sudarshana. I will just use this fallen wheel of a chariot to vanquish this old man, overlived man in this battle. And as he runs towards Bhishma, Bhishma throws all his weapons. I was waiting for this moment, Krishna. When you will kill me, I don't want to die at the hand of all these people here. You should kill me. Swaniga mama pahaya mat pratigya. Bhishma Acharya now tells, see, what great that man was. Even at the cost of him breaking the pledge he had made, to make the my vow come true, he came towards me. Mat pratigyam. Rhythm adhikar tum pluto rathasthaha. As he jumped from his position, I saw his hair, the hair tresses. So that hair that jumped along with him. Neelabham kunchitagram ghanamamalataram samyatam charubhangya. Said Bhattadri. The hair would be so effervescent, dark and shining and would be curling, curly. Chikuram bahulam veralam brahmaram. Says Leela Shuka of Krishna's hair. While describing Ranganatha of Sri Rangam, the polymath Vedanta Deshika says, Kupyacholi, Vachanakutilaihi, Kuntalaihi, Sishtamule. How curly are the hair presses of Ranganatha of Sri Rangam? Vedanta Deshika has to give a simile because that's what a poet is meant for. You cannot just describe, sir, can he say he has nice hair? Then he won't be a poet. A poet has to give similes, upama. So how curly are the hair presses of Ranganatha, Vedanta Deshika. See, those of you who know the Indian map, the South Indian map will know that Krish Vedanta Deshika, who lived in the 13th century, belonged to a province of the Pallavas, around in and around Kanchipuram. Later, due to some dire needs, dire needs in um, Sri Rangam, which is Chola Desham, he had to rush from Kanchipuram to Chola Desham, which is Sri Rangam. So, whenever you come as an immigrant, Initially, the existing population may be a bit doubtful about your demeanor, culture, whether the existing culture will be diluted. So, the people of Sri Rangam took little time to get adjusted to 
Vedanta Deshika and his wife. They had one son called Kumara Varada and uh, every day he would ask his wife, how are the people here? How are the mommies treating you? She used to say, fine. Some problem. See, see the, then she used to say, see, to understand what these women speak itself is taking little time for me. Because you have come to a, Divya Desham, a different Desham, you won't know. So Vedanta Deshika asks, how different are they? See, after they speak, after 10-15 minutes only, I am able to understand what they actually mean. So then Vedanta Deshika, through his research, found out that this is the quality of people of Chola Desham. Sri Rangam Kumbhakonam, you will take little time to understand the sarcasm in what they say. So you'll you'll think. So Vedanta Deshika, then he too had a few personal experiences with the men and the women, especially of Sri Rangam. So it may seem as if they are very soft, but later when you think, oh, actually they have humiliated me, but they do it with such style and elegance. So Vedanta Deshika says, how curly are the Tresses of Ranganatha, he says, Kupyat choli vachana kutilaihi kuntalaihi sishtamule. When you provoke the women of Sri Rangam or Kumbhakonam, not the men, the women, he says, Kupyat choli. When you provoke them and they hit you back with words, it will be so sarcastic and curly like the hair of Ranganatha. Kupyat choli vachana kutilaihi kuntalaihi sishtamule. With those hair tresses, Krishna jumped from the ratham. Swaniga mama pahaya mat pratigna mritamadhikartumava pluto rathasthaha. Dhrita ratha charano bhyaya chalad gur. His upper cloth jumped. So Bhishma says, when he came rushing towards me, that one scene is enough. So this is called Bhishma Stuti. Those of you who have not read, please read. It's a beautiful ode of unadulterated devotion, bhakti by a great Bhagavatottama called Bhishma Acharya to Krishna. Now, on the other hand, Parikshit is asking questions. He will ask questions every now and then. No, I mentioned about one point, I think 22 or 23 minutes back, about this civilization encouraging the art of questioning. But I was very careful, largely I said, because in traditional families, questioning is not that welcome as well. Right? So, the scholars would always encourage, if you don't have answers, you will always threaten the person who is questioning. <laughs> so, now Bish, Shuka Brahmam started giving answers to Parikshit. That is when, see there are a few chapters that I will come back tomorrow. Now people will go and say, Patheda, I did clever. <laughs> see, I will cover because there is one thing called Nadula Kunya Pakkam. What happened? To you? Don't worry. I will come back. I have to cover certain portions. So leave that to me. I will do it. There was this Rishi called Kashyapa. Kashyapa Prajapati. It has to begin with some person. So here it is Kashyapa Prajapati. Let's begin with Kashmir because Kashyapa Vihara iti Kashmira. Raja Tarangini, there was a great Grantham by Kalhana called Raja Tarangini that also talks about it. Largely that portion around Ladakh, Kashmir, some portion with us, some portion with others, all others put together is Kashmiram, Kashyapa Vihara. The fruit that came from there is apple. That is why in the puja also they will say, Kashmira Phalam Niveda Yami. See, our knowledge in Sanskritam is so poor that even for mundane things that the priest will say, we will put our palms together. Kashmir, Aphalam, Niveda, Yami. He will say, keep those two bricks there in Sanskritam. So, this Kashyapa had many wives. 
polygamous now don't ask me why i don't support polygamy but that man did he had many wives that rishi had many wives one of them one set let's deal set by set one set was aditi and diti the other set was vinata and kadru vinata you had snakes now again sir how can human have snakes either those snakes which were around that region could have been adopted see now we adopt pets now many of them will say this we may for a person who doesn't have pets i may say it's a dog but some of them don't like it has a name how will i know the name <laughs> unless and until they tell me so call her malligai poo okay malligai poo <laughs> uh, so how many children you go you ask the people who own pets who uh, who manage pets they will tell i have three children no sir i thought two no this is also my child correct you adopt pets as your children so probably you would have been attached to snakes one second thing like how we have ministry of highways waterways in those days for reptiles he would have been the caretaker this is the way see rishis will always give assignment for us you have to construe because this is all poetry remember in poetic meters you will have to strip that off of the extra figures of speech and take the material alone if you literally take see dushyanta dushyanta <laughs> while he had a relationship with shakuntala she got pregnant that is gandharva vivaham but you know in that middle we have heard he gave that ring that ring went into the stomach uh, the first time uh, of a fish that fish was taken by the chef of that region he cut it open then that ring uh, ring uh, while he gave the fisherman took the shalaka found it and then he took all this is there but this is all kalidasa's imagination kalidasa has picked from adi parva of mahabharatam because there is one portion where dushyanta falls in love with shakuntala in the next scene vyasa says when shakuntala went as a pregnant lady to um the court of dushyanta dushyanta says i don't remember so why he doesn't remember he has created one nice fiction around it durvasa giving shapam katham pramattaha prathamam kritam iva like a drunkard who promises the previous night to do a list of things and the next morning has no memory of what he has said he says katham pramattaha prathamam kritam iva similarly the man who you have been thinking will lose evlo complicated for she she is in love with that man so durvasa says the man who is in your memory he will lose memory of you so all this happens now let's come back to mahabharata when she goes it is said that for 3 years she has been pregnant in mahabharatam there is a shloka 3 years she has been pre- pregnant immediately what is this sir huh? will kamala selvaraj agree hmm? <laughs> we know only three trimesters this is three years how is that possible in the absence of any security for her future for the child's future in the absence of her beloved al- her b- alongside for her every set of three months would have been like a year so that is three years when sita was separated from rama on the 14th year in the exile for her every minute was like a yuga pani kala vari jampola niram kusi pagal bor yugamaga kalitale prayasi ninai thange ravanan annan var chi chi nillada endru yesi tanithu tan uir tannai tan vida magarasi sarum pode kanum samayami devasi ini tamadam shayalagaden rider pesi rama 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 yenre dir pesi kanden 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 sitaye kanden ragava so shakuntala that year i am telling you is puranas and itihasas have to be studied with great science in your mind just like that reading translation kesar ganguli has done bibek de broy has done 
won't serve any purpose now this children snakes coming back to the snakes the first was ananta ananta was a first child snake he later became the first servant to the lord so he was called adi shesha the next was karkotaka that is why the dynasty around kashmir in the 7th 8th century was called karkota dynasty another snake was takshaka that is why takshaka shila became takshila ananta was the first snake he was a nagam so anant nag you have in that kashmir right so all this is associated with kashyapa kashyapa had aditi and diti also through diti he had children that is what we are going to see so these children lived around kashmir there is a place called moolasthanam multan it is called today by the banks of river chandrabhaga in pakistan this is the place where narasimha avataram occurred no sir aho bil aho balam aho bilam or any kshetram of narasimha was action replay later the rishis would perform penance to the lord and say that you have done nrsimha avataram i was not fortunate enough to see that please play that again for me so there are recorded footages so the lord will retrieve that particular video file and play and that is how nrsimha avataram came into ahobilam but originally it is one it was in pakistan diti devi she goes and tells her husband kashyapa पश्यक कश्यपो भवती से अरुण प्रश्न पश्य इन संस्कृत मीन्स टू सी पश्यक मीन्स हु हेज द एबिलिटी टू फोर सी बट इफ यू डिराइव अ नाउन फ्रॉम अ वर्ब द रिसलटेंट वर्ड यू हेव टू रिवर्स सो पश्यक रिवर्स इट इट विल बिकम कश्यप पश्यक कश्यपो भवती ये शमाम सो द वाइफ गोज एंड सेज फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम यू बीन मेडिटेटिंग आई वॉन्ट चिलड्रन थ्रू यू ये विद्वन कामात्तशरासन दुनोति दीना विक्रम्य रंभामिव मतंगज सो कश्यप सेट युर युर थॉट इज गुड दट वी शुड हेव अ फैमिली बट दिस इज नॉट द रईट टाइम फॉर अस् टू कम टूगेदर इट इज कॉल्ड रौद्र मुहूर्त अरउंड द ईवनिंग टाइम वेन द सन सेट्स फोर्टी फाइव मिनिट्स बिफोर एंड फोर्टी फाइव मिनिट्स लेटर इट इज सेट दट यू शुड नॉट ईट before 45 minutes before the sunset and after so it is said that it will bring down your memory now now don't ask me if there is a patent paper research paper if you eat and see this is all i can say <laughs> right then don't tell kekum bodu nanna irukku marandu poiterudhu then check what time you are eating so so these are all things that is mentioned now how much of it is believable how much of it is followable how much of it is relatable to each his or her own now he says at this time point in time raudra muhurtam when lord shiva dances see generally it is believed in the raudra muhurtam around the evening time shiva dances he is a very good dancer his wife is also a dancer so as a dancer couple they will dance so when they dance that raudra muhurtam when ganas are at play that time it is better to avoid any activity any now we have no choice we have to drive now don't just because i have said you chulipter what up rather than okay no ta so kashyapa says navayam prabhavastam tvam anukartum griheshwari if we get together now later if children are born they will not they will not be as disciplined as the children who have come to bhagavata saptaham hmm? apyayusha va katsena yena ye chanye guna gna guna grinava so what to do now that is when she says it's okay if i have useless children she is very clear i need to have children whether they are useless anti social anti national doesn't matter athapi kama metam te prajatye karavanyalam yathamam nati vochanti muhurtam pratipalaya that is when he says if this is your, the choice you have made let's bear the brunt of it but diti says see now 
that have been impregnated i request rudramurti to not destroy it out of his anger mam me garbham imam brahman bhutanam rishabho vadhit rudraha patir hi bhutanam yasya karavamam syaham then diti said see i didn't think see generally certain decisions are like this where a few minutes after you have made that decision you will repent 6:45 you would have repented today right few minutes after you have come we could have better been at home today we have come all the seven days we have to come so here as soon as diti understands the decision she has made she goes and talks to her husband now can you modify my children's behavior any possibility we will put them to some school and we will correct them whatever you do their karma will be like this but don't worry diti now you have asked for some atonement of your sins i feel he says savai maha bhagavato mahatma mahanubhavo mahata magishta your grandson the grandchild born to you will be very very disciplined son will not be like that pravridha bhaktya hyanubhavita shaye niveshya vai kunthamam vihasyati as a result two children were born the first child while the father kashyapa was performing ashwamedham says nisumma puranam when the father was performing five seats were kept for the yagyam to be performed the fifth seat placed for an ashwamedha yagyam is covered in gold and it is called hiranyakashipu that seat so this child crawled and went and sat on that seat so from that day onwards the rishi said since he sat on hiranyakashipu he will be called hiranyakashipu right if you have acted in jayam you will become jayam ravi <laughs> if you have acted in venniradai you become venniradai murti if you have seen vendors selling brinjal on the road you don't know their name his name could be something we do may not know what will be called brinjal because he is selling brinjal his name is brinjal he sat on hiranyakashipu so he became hiranyakashipu hiranya means gold kashipu the one whose body is akin to gold which means he was yellow we talk about yel yellow race yellow right so yellow he looked yellow now as soon as this both these children grew up true to the prediction they were not very helpful to the society now let's see who these two children were hey, let's see ipo mudi parivar Fin I'll finish it. Don't worry. What is the prasadam today? Teriya, choli ta kalmi pudi bala. Hmm. So, Sanat Kumaras. There were the four children of Brahma. They were called Manasa Putras. Sanat ka, Sanat na, Sanat na, Sanat Kumara, Sananda. These four sons of Brahma. They were Urdhvaritas. They said they, we will. refrain from relationship with women we don't want any family life and those four children because of their intense austerities were given visa on arrival they don't have to apply before wherever they go they'll get entry so they entered vaikuntham manogyanaihi मनोज्ञ नैश्रय सकाननाद्यैर अनेकवाणी अनेकवापि मणिमंदिर इष्ट अनोपमं तम भवतो निकेतम मुनीश्वरः प्रापुरतीत कक्ष्याः सो दे एंटर्ड वैकुंठम दे डिस्क्राइब वैकुंठम इन भागवतम इट इज सो ब्यूटीफुल नाइस लेक नाइस ट्रीज एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट दीस पीपल एंटर्ड एज दे एंटर्ड थ्रू द वेस्टर्न द्वारम तद्वामनुष्य परमस्य विकुंठ भर्तुः कर्तुं प्रकृष्टमिह धीमहि मंददी Yeah, as they entered, they were stopped by the watchmen from the western side. Western side, Dwara watchmen are called Jaya and Vijaya. Jaya and Vijaya stopped them, sir. You can't get inside. Show your passport. All this they said, sir. We are not given passport. Wherever we want, we can go. No, no, we have not come across those bylaws in the book that was given to us. There is an altercation between the Dwara Palakas. 
and the Sanat Kumaras. That is why it is said. See, these are all things that we should know. Whenever we go somewhere, somebody asks us a question, we should have the patience to answer. I don't know about here. You know, generally in India they will ask, you know, Mera Baap Kaun Hai? <laughs> Whoever be it, you have to answer. You should be very, very courteous to people who are doing some service. That is why if you have heard of this very, very prodigal mystics, poetess called Andal, while she reaches the house of Krishna in the 16th Pasuram, she seeks the permission of the Dwarapalakas. Why don't you open? She requests. Request. This arrogance will not work, will not take us anywhere. What? How is Puranam relatable? This is how it is relatable. You know, there is this Gaya Natakam called Prahlada Bhakti Vijayam. Telisa? All Karnatic, they, they, I was told there are many Sangeeta Kalani these here. So, Tyagaraja Swami, how many of you are learning Karnatic music? Oh, very good. Ah, well. So, Tyagaraja Swami has given two Natakams. I will ask this question. Now you have raised your hand, you have to remember. Okay. One is called Prahlada Bhakti Vijayam. Second is Ah Nauka Charitra. This Prahlada Bhakti Vijayam is about Prahlada's Bhakti. Prahlada, how he was tormented by his father. Finally, Prahlada's devotion bore fruit, it fructified when Stambhe Ghattayato, when the pillar was hit like a dicotyledon, it broke open and who emerged out of the pillar? Ah, correct. But in Tyagaraja Swami's Ramayana, Rama came out of the pillar. Sir, how can Rama come? Because Tyagaraja, everything was Rama. Sir, Vam Rama Mayam. Rama came with his bow and arrows and killed Hiranyakashipu. Now, when the father tortured his son Prahlada, Prahlada was thrown from the cliff into the Bay Area. <laughs> now, while Prahlada was to be protected, he was protected by the Dwarapalakas. So he was extremely happy. See, they have left their job. Now who is guarding Vaikuntam? They left their job and came to protect him. So he said, I love Vasudeva and I love his Dwarapalakas. Vasudevayani veddalinali dhau vari E dhau vari kunikanare. Dhau vari kudu. Ante Dwarapalakudu. Vasudevayani veddalinali dovari kunikanare Vasavadi surapuji tudai Varijanayanuni matini tele chuchunu But these people, they had an altercation with the Dwarapalakas. Immediately, Sanat Kumaras cursed the Dwarapalakas that you will be born as humans on earth. It was a big punishment in those days if you are born as humans. Immediately Dwarapalaka started crying, where will we be born? Tadva mamanushya paramasya vikuntha bartuhu kartum prakrishta mihadhi mahi mandadi bhyam. You will be born on earth. They said, sir, please forgive us. We didn't know about this bylaws. For this you are given a curse. Then after that, slowly the Lord came from the Inside apartment, outside. He is like Indian police. After all things have happened, he will come slowly. Look at the style with which he is described. So, one hand he had on Garuda. One on Mahalakshmi. And he is coming slowly with lotus. Kageshwaram Sarpita Charu Bahu. Kageshwara on Garuda on Lakshmi. Slowly he is coming. See, generally people will get perturbed. How dare you go? Generally when there is a clash between two cars, you will get out of the car, abuse the other person. Slowly he is coming. What happened? Oh, when did you all come? 
తెలుసా తమిళ్ పీపుల్ నో అబౌట్ పూతరేకులు యూ డోంట్ నో తెలియలేదా ఏమంటే ఇది తెలుగు పీపుల్ నో ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సి పూతరేకులు ఈజ్ యువర్ మీన్స్ టు వైకుంఠం ఇఫ్ యూ డూ నాట్ నో అబౌట్ ఇట్ ఇట్స్ అ బ్యూటిఫుల్ స్వీట్ ఇన్ ఆంధ్ర మేడ్ ఫ్రమ్ స్టార్చ్ కదా సో దే పుట్ స్టార్చ్ దే పుట్ లోడ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఘీ అండ్ దెన్ జాగ్రి డ్రై ఫ్రూట్స్ కవర్ ఇట్ అండ్ యూ టు కీప్ ఈటింగ్ ఇట్ టిల్ యూ సీ వైకుంఠం సో here the lord said why why what happened you had food no that time they said sorry sir these dwarapalakas prevented so we cursed them then the lord asked calmly what curse have you given you will be born on earth go dwarapalaka said how can we get separated from you they have said seven janmas we have to be born seven janmas the lord said i will amend this act సంరంభయోగేన యూ యూ విల్ బి బోర్న్ ఫర్ త్రీ జన్మాస్ ఓన్లీ సెవెన్ డిస్కౌంట్ ఫోర్ త్రీ బట్ ఇన్ దోస్ త్రీ జన్మాస్ యూ విల్ కంటిన్యూ టు లివ్ అండ్ హేట్ మీ వేర్ షుడ్ బి బి బోర్న్ ఇన్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద కళగమ్స్ తదే తదాజ్ఞయ భవాన వాప్త సహైవ లక్ష్మ బహిరంబుజాక్ష but don't worry even if you choose to hate your wife will go temple after temple <laughs> kageshwarams i meant he- <laughs> i meant kayadhu <laughs> kageshwaram sarpita charu bahur anandayan stan abhirama murtya so you will continue to hate me and don't worry you will then reach vaikuntham now let's get back to diti diti had those two dwarapalakas as sons jaya and vijaya what are those people going to do they said we will do it only on the 18th of april hmm? they have done too much today so tomorrow i will tell you the portion what let's see whether it is interesting hmm? i have left a few things today from the first two skandhas brahmastuti bhagavata mahatmyam all that will come today tomorrow then varaha avataram varaha avataram you don't know varaha avataram you know rishabh shetty ah apdi na avarala da varahar varahar yubam copyright problem ha huh? then there is varaha charama shlokam then kapila avataram will come daksha yagnam dhruva charitram prithu charitram jada bharata upakhyanam ah for this you have to get some of your jain friends you know jain you have any jain friends amit shah namu telinde jain avar uttar da ah so you can bring a few of your jain friends because in jada bharata charitram the first guru of jina matam will come in bhagavatam i'll i'll tell you how tomorrow so all this will come tomorrow i thought it will be interesting you have to come so I, okay now they have two things that i have to announce gyanananda seva samajam and sacramento mahapriva mandali out of sheer bhakti towards sanatana dharma have made the entire series free and open to all now they are supporting a, a beautiful abhimana sthalam called as tennangur closer to chennai now there are divya mangala vigrahams of vithala and rakhuma bai and that temple has religiously been feeding people sans any discrimination for days weeks and months together and they also have a goshala so those of you who magnanimously wish to contribute may kindly get in touch with the astikas of samajam and your donations will go for the annadanam there one second thing 
this week throughout this week tomorrow's day to varaha avataram kapila avataram kapilopadesham jada bharata chitram prithu charitram daksha yagyam all this will come the day after tomorrow is equivalently very important because we will get nrsimha avataram little bit of tripura samharam because in the saptama skandham we have tripura samharam then i may take gajendra moksham as well if gajendra allows then on day 4 there will be vamana avataram matsya avataram kurma avataram and krishna jananam then from day 5 day 6 it is all krishna so finally only on day 4 at about 7:45 shuka brahmam will answer the question posed by parikshit <laughs> till then it is all introduction okay that interval happens there and then day 6 and 7 which is saturday and sunday the timings are changed it will be in the morning and day 7 is special because we will be doing rukmini kalyanam as well there will be some amount of relevant bhajan sampradaya bhajan and my discourse because we want to marry the sangeeta sampradayam bhakti sampradayam bhajana sampradayam with upanyasam but rukmini kalyanam will come on day 7 but if you look at bhagavatam it should come on day 5 itself day 6 5 itself it should come later but why are you doing it later because all our indian movies have to end with happy event right the hero and the heroine should come together uh, kabhi na juda honge hum kabhi khushi kabhi gham we have to take one harati now that is why there is a paddhati in pravachanam where you cut that um rukmini kalyanam and paste it control x control v we do it to the last day so this is the uh, schedule the language chosen for the discourses is primarily english and of course i am quoting tamil telugu kannada will also come kannada do idare alli oh copies koltare yen sir new kannada dalle maatadilla irodu bengaluru ಹಾಂ ಈ ಥರ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ರಲ್ವಾ ನಾಳೆಯಿಂದ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಕನ್ನಡ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಮಳೆಯಾಳಿ ಆಡೋ ಇವಡೆ ಓ ಅದು ಬರೂ ಏಳಾಮ್ ನಾಳ್ ತ್ರಿಪೂಣಿತುರ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ತಿಂಡೆ ಒಂದು ಕೀರ್ತನ ಸೊ ಇಪ್ಪ ಹಿಂದಿ ಕೋಚಿಂಡ್ರುವ ಹಿಂದಿ ತಿರಿಯೋ ಅದು ಪೋಡ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಸೇ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ hindi will also come so all see we are all uh, each language bhakti literature is so beautiful you essentially don't need to know the language how because the lyrics itself takes you to a trance but i always encourage learning a new language when you learn the language when you know the meaning of the lyrics that you're singing that gives you a different perspective so i shall use whatever languages i have known heard so essentially it's in english so the message i'm trying to say is why in english because when we have to link such a huge diaspora that has been living here for decades together and to your children it is important that i choose a proper common link language so if you know of people who speak telugu language please tell them it's not that boring you can come they may say will he speak like chaganti garu samavedam shanmukha sharma garika party alaga maatladtara i am no they are no match to me they are all great but i will speak in my own way you can say that he will talk relevant and irrelevant stuff also that is dushyan's hallmark it is in tamil there is a beautiful word called akkapur i am mr akkapur so i don't mind being one so you can bring them it's a very casual lecture you don't have to feel worried what will he do nothing and you can feel free to record also if you have got a phone audio record you want to do please record no copyright issue will come okay you can record and they are also recording that will also come later abhi jo lita oh then why should we come no yeah. they don't publish this you have to come Okay, so tomorrow same time six fifteen we will begin. Kavita Arki ka sim. Now like six or six fifteen na. Six six center. Abdi na kuncha. 
सो कवितार्किक सिंहाय कल्याण गुणशालिनी श्रीमते वेंकटेशाय वेदांत गुरवे नम कल्याण रूपाय कलौ जना कल्याण धत्रे करुण सुधाब्दे वातालयाधीश नमो नमस्ते नारायण 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 ओपन योर माउथ अनंतरामाख्य मि प्रणीत स्त्रोत्र पठेतस्तु नरस्तृकाल वातालेत कृपाफल लभेत सर्वाणी च मंगला नारायण नारायण नारा, नारा, नारा। 